several children have been rescued by local artisans at, as a daycare center, a church, and some shops located inside one building caught fire just this afternoon. Erastus Asaridonko has been following that for us, and here's what he filed. Ah, well, actually, we can speak live to Erastus Asaridonko in Kumasi. Erastus, good afternoon. Uh, it sounds like a, a close call for these poor children. Right, uh, we have to reconnect uh, to Erastus, and then we'll bring you all the details from that story in Kumase. But right now, the First Lady, Rebecca Ekufuado, is calling for exclusive attention for vulnerable groups uh, of pregnant women in the country, speaking at the commissioning of the new Anoche Yabua Mothers Hostel and an obstetrics and gynecology emergency center at the Cape Coast Teaching Hospital. Uh, the First Lady explained some vulnerable groups of pregnant women, such as those with mental disorders, disabled women, and other uh, other and others, uh, are are generally ignored by society and uh, they should be shown utmost care in order to save the babies in their wombs. Central Regional Correspondent uh, Richard Kwejo Nyakon will bring us details of that but right now I'm told we're able to connect to Erastus in Kumase. Uh, Erastus good afternoon. Good afternoon Kwejo. Now uh, I'm rather concerned uh, to hear about these children. Tell us what happened. Well, currently, I must say and uh, commend the uh, Ghana National Fire Service for uh, swift intervention. Uh, we would have uh, seen more shops consumed, but mm. the fire really uh, consumed this church. It's called the Christ Cosmopolitan Incorporated Church. Right. And it is a, a long uh, building, I must say, a housing, a daycare center as well. And there is a temple inside. From what we are seeing from inside the building, uh, a number of beds that have been consumed uh, indicate that perhaps uh, we, we, they were having some uh, patients or sick people lying on those beds. It's not clear what the beds were used for, mm. but uh, we are now seeing uh, a whole a hall stretching uh, several meters consumed uh, totally. About one hour ago, some local accidents had to uh, rescue children several of them through a small window uh, to be able to uh, uh, take them off to safety at 45 people, but we need to put the fire at the moment. Uh, uh, the regional fire commander, uh, he is here. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. What are we dealing with at the moment? We are dealing with the purpose of the cargo. It's made up of so many people. So actually, the place is being used for so many things. So we are dealing with this cargo. So our challenge now is like we've been able to do to suppress the fire by offensive firefighting. Now what they are going to do is that after that, they only now we will do salvaging and we'll be able to tell you what's involved and what was there. So that's what we are doing. Yeah, from what you've seen uh, so far, uh, what materials can you point your fingers at? So from hindsight, you know what you see, what you see, like the car that's the what I can say now. But I believe everything down, everything that is there. So what do we have to, like I said, when we start doing the salvage, we'll be able to know item by item what is really involved of each of them and we'll be able to talk to very well. So currently, we are doing pulling, we will do salvage because the walls are everything that we see. We are pulling everything there, so that we're looking at to do the salvage very well. So you can give a very fair idea. It is just to tell you what is part of the fire. Early on, uh, children, some children were rescued. Uh, through a window. Uh, do we know if there are any casualties at the moment? Because we are seeing uh, some hospital beds inside the bench building here. I believe when the case is, and I also got the background, we went in the record of, of the case that were streaked through the window. So we went in to make sure that there was no life at stake. And I can tell you, there are beds here to see them, but there's no life at stake. So that's why I said we let to the staff because we are able to give you a better information. Thank you. So that's it. Now, uh, um, uh, yeah, but uh, and his associate on media friend out there, and the uh, 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 uh,
but his camera has been totally destroyed. God was Right, um, Erastus, if you can hear me, uh, I think that the line is not the best. I wonder if you can reposition yourself so we can uh, hear you clearer. There appears to be some interference uh, with the line. Is it, is it okay to oh, yes, it's great now. So if you can yeah. just go back a couple of uh, sentences, yeah. Yeah, I was saying that uh, it's not ready at the moment to say that there was a struggle between the pastor and his associates and then the media men who were trying to film uh, the rampaging fire. And so at the moment, the pastor and his associates, some of them pulled knife on media men out here, and uh, they manhandled the GTV reporter and destroyed his camera. So at the moment, he is at the Afro police inside a file of official complaint. It's not clear what they were trying to conceal or why uh, they, they did not want the media to capture the fire that was destroying equipment and property. Hmm. So, so basically, they threatened the, the pastor and his staff threatened the media with knives. Uh, have there and been any arrests? Knives, uh, in front of the media here and prevented them from entering and taking uh, hmm. pictures of the. Uh, the uh, so, Adam, uh, why they were doing that? Tried to. Right, we're, uh, we're losing Erastus there, so sad, uh, but uh, very interesting uh, <laughs> developments in this uh, story of a fire that has ravaged the church and other businesses in, the, in a complex in Kumasi. We can see some images right there on the screen of uh, the aftermath of the fire. Uh, we will be bringing you more details, but at the moment the fire service is in full control uh, and they are seeking to find the source of that fire. Uh, some children were rescued from the building and we are now learning that uh, the pastor who operates the church in this complex was actually attacking the media. Uh, him and his staff were attacking the media with knives uh, when they tried to capture uh, the events that were occurring while the fire was blazing. We'll be bringing you more when we reconnect with Erastus Asaridonko, reporter one, uh, later.